there, welcome back to A Bus and Beyond and we are back at Fairford, we're back at RIAT, Royal International Air Tattoo at Fairford. Uh, I don't know if you, if, if you saw the video last year where we were visiting, we camped for one night in our California beach. We are back again, but this time we are spending our first ever night in our crafter camper conversion. So it's definitely not ready yet. We will show you what we've done with it to make it kind of usable for four nights that we're here actually this time. And we've got Harvey and Lena with us. So basically our visit will be spent mostly making sure they keep their ear defenders on because it is so loud. But we're back in the same field at Townsend Farm campsite. And yeah, we shall take you along on our little journey on our little adventure here at React 2023. What are you up to, Sean? I'm just reheating the um, uh, mac and cheese that you made with hot dogs in it. Mac and cheese. Mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese. Oh, look at your t-shirt, Harvey. That's pretty cool. Airplane. Airplane, that's right. We've seen lots of airplanes so far. There's, an, there's a trail over there. mad because we never really know when stuff's coming do we no <laughs> oh harvey's getting ready cover his ears Good boy harvey and for those wondering see where lena is she's right here and thankfully i can just cover her ears very quickly we do actually also have headphones obviously for the kids but sometimes we can't quite get quick enough so hands it is to cover them make sure they're all right you enjoying your mac and cheese harvey I'll take that as a yes. We're really excited to be bringing you a pay partnership with BetterHelp. Being here at RIA, you can tell we're huge aviation fans and some of you will already know we both work for Air Traffic Control. Air Traffic Control has a reputation as being one of the most stressful jobs in the world and that's why we're fully aware of how important good mental health is. Therapy is a great way of ensuring that you are given the right tools to approach your mental health in the best way possible. We're excited to tell you about how BetterHelp makes finding the right therapist for you super easy. It's all online, you just answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you to a credentialed therapist within a few days and often much less than that. It's really easy to get signed up to the service, just click the link in our description and on the screen now. Clicking the link also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. I found the service really easy to sign up to and within a few hours I was matched with a lovely therapist who was helping me with the challenges of those early days with having a newborn and this sort of help is invaluable. So I really hope this partnership with BetterHelp can help our viewers and subscribers if they're struggling with their mental health. Once again, the link is in the description below and on the screen for 10% off your first month. Well, as you can tell, the weather is actually horrendous. Uh, today is Friday and it's been raining all morning. It's going to rain all day. Um, but I have just seen the Saudi hawks flying. So with any luck, we will see some flying today, but we've only got tickets for the Friday. So today is our day to go in. So we're braving the weather. Lena's in here somewhere, can you see? Just about to see. Um, we've got the umbrellas, Harvey's in the pram, so fingers crossed we don't get too drenched, but at least we have a nice fan to go back to. We we'll watch the Saudis in the meantime. How you doing, Sean? A bit soggy. <laughs> <laughs> We've already tried once to depart, so I was wearing flip-flops. Show us your knee. 
Oh dear. I was wearing flip flops. I thought, <laughs> I thought, well, it'll be okay. I'll wear them because they'll dry off quicker once I've got through this grassy bit. Once I get to the air show, it'll be fine. I made it about one meter onto the mud, fell over, and got mud all on my butt. Yep, so, so quick change. Change to wellies. We both changed into wellies. Much better <laughs> idea. Well, this is ridiculous. So, this is the walk from the campsite, unfortunately. But it does get easier. Just not yet. <laughs> However, we are getting good views of aircraft as they come and land. One good thing we've just spotted is this field here, it used to have to go around there and around the edge. Now you can cut right across. So they've obviously got an agreement from the farmer. And that's much better, much, much better. This is we were passing some guy coming back from the show. He was like, why don't we do this in the summer? What a great idea. Let's do this in the British summertime. We'd almost be better doing it in the winter. At least the ground would be frozen and we wouldn't be falling all over the place. So we have to go through a bag check to get onto the airfield for obvious reasons. But what made me laugh is they weren't entirely sure whether I was carrying a bag or not. And uh, I'm not going to put her through the x-ray machine. So thankfully we confirmed that it was a baby. And uh, we got away with not having to put her through the x-ray machine, which is a win. Today's video is the new GL360 by the RAF. It's just ridiculous. I mean, Lena's Lena's about the only one who's quite dry, and Harvey is in some ways. But yeah, it is more survival than enjoyment. <laughs> Sarvstan was saying that he's come from Sweden in that thing, can you see it behind me? And uh, they call that bit on top the ski box. And I said, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get much skiing around here. And I'm really sorry about the weather. This is just awful. Absolutely abandoning ship. This is ridiculous. Like it's not let up at all. And it is brutal. So yeah, for two young kids it's a really not fun experience. <laughs> Harvey, what have you got there? What is that? Show us. Airplane. Airplane, yeah, which one? Which one though? Hello. Red arrow, yeah! Oh, we made it, didn't we, Sean? That was a disaster. Yeah, that was a complete disaster. However, Lena is completely dry and happy. Aren't you, sweetheart? You wouldn't even know she'd been anywhere. Harvey is a little bit damp. 
but he's all right and I'm drenched Sean's drenched I don't know how we're gonna deal with all the wet stuff in the van are the red arrows doing a display Harvey yeah, yeah. Wow. Fly. they're definitely to scale Check out my Royal Saudi Air Force 24 Squadron mug that I got for free. It has got an aeroplane on it, Harvey, you're right. A nice little freebie there. I've got my beverage in there. What drink is that? I can't remember. Is it a strawberry daiquiri? Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so thank you, Royal Saudi Air Force 24 Squadron. <laughs> well, it has actually cleared up a bit this evening. So Sean and Harvey have been for a little wander outside. Let's hope tomorrow it's much nicer weather, but we're not going to go to the show tomorrow. Tomorrow we're just staying at the van and watching the air show from here. Oh my god, the sun is out. Hey. The sun is out, Sean. <laughs> People are actually cheering. You can hear them on the campsite <laughs> cheering. Oh my god. Although the mud is unbelievable. I just tried to go to the bin, just tried to take the rubbish to the bin and there's like a few skips dotted around, but they're right on the corners of the fields. And I couldn't get to it because it's thick mud on some of the corners and I was just in flip-flops assuming I could get to it, didn't think. So I had to like zigzag my way around, all the way around. I just had to do a massive loop to try and get the correct side so I could get down and go to the, the skip. But I made it, but yeah, there's people being to towed by- <laughs> Are you muddy by... as a result? You are, yeah. oh, look at your feet, oh, wrong way. The, oh, people people God. don't want to see sorry, that. Sorry, everyone. Oh God, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but there's people, there's tractors on hand to tow people in and stuff. It's a bit mad, but it's, it's getting properly full now. Hopefully tomorrow, it'll be a bit of a better time. Hopefully tomorrow it'll stay like this. Yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, Harvey? You can yeah. play outside and see more planes. Yeah. Start hearing a bit of rowdiness. It's getting a bit louder. And we remembered this from last year. We we're like, hey, who'd have thought a big group of plane spotters would be quite so loud, <laughs> but it's got such a good atmosphere. And I think it's, there is music on in the live venue. There's like a barn that is turned into uh, like a DJ booth and stuff. I think it's Reggae Man again, that we saw um, last year, but I, we can hear the music from that, but I think the real loud bits around here is um, groups of people that are having fun, obviously. And it's certainly not too loud at all. But um, I was saying to Lizzie how when we're wandering around, me and Harvey trying to find a bin, there's a massive like pool of mud because it's rained all day. And um, Harvey was looking at the mud and the group the other side were going, go on, do it. Looking like he was going to jump in. I was like, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> and then we carried on wandering. And there was another big group of people that had a, they've even brought like a massive gas barbecue. And um, they had a big grill going and they're all had their beers on and their music going and Harvey started dancing and they went, yeah, they're all dancing with Harvey. It was, it was <laughs> such a yeah, brilliant, great atmosphere.
So thankfully the weather has been far nicer today. Today is the Saturday and uh, we're getting some really good displays today. So we are very happy, very happy set up at camp. Saying, the Saudis seem to have exactly copied the red arrows. So I don't know if they're trained by them or I don't know what, but the display seems exactly the same. That was really cool actually. When the Saudis were coming into land, um, everyone in the campsite was waving at them, and the second to last one actually did a pump of um, red uh, smoke out the back to say hi back, which was really cool. So you're having a better day today, Sean? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, it's so much better. <laughs> There's still quite a few showers around and they are heavy showers, some of them, but... Yeah. But it was like a heavy shower all day long yesterday, oh, so it's quite was, a difference. That was, yeah, that was really, really bad. Baby sister. It is your baby sister. <laughs> right, we're going to go for a wonder, aren't we? Yeah, it's time to do sights on sight. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> This is just absolute <laughs> carnage. <laughs> I mean, it's organised carnage. You've got to give it to the campsite. They have genuinely got lots of tractors, There's haven't they? There's five. Just There's here. five tractors here helping people in and out. They are working hard. It is fantastic. But there's, there's a blitz spirit, isn't there? People are like cheering when they get out of the mud. It's really it's funny. It's a good job we arrived when we did and we just got in. I mean, we're at the way out, which is obviously going to get worse as the weekend goes on. But oh, there's, there's there is funny. thousands of vehicles here as well. So like, if, if we do have to be towed out, I think we'll wait a while. But. Thankfully, we've got a bit of time. Yeah. Although, to be fair, there's a motor near us that got stuck and they got towed pretty quickly. So Yeah. Well, I'm afraid our usual segment of sights on sites is not going to happen unless something drastically changes on this trip because where you walk from our field into the main entrance and then go beyond to all the fields, it is like this all the way round, absolutely surrounding. So you can't actually get further into the, into the uh, campsite. So I can't show you what else is on the site. However, I will point out this, which is a Ranger Raptor. I absolutely love the Ford Ranger Raptor. That is what you need on this campsite at the minute. That is properly cool.
So we're up and ready. It's now Sunday, so yeah, the third day of display. And uh, if you can really count Friday, which is a bit of a washout. But yeah, we slept okay. Uh, I think everyone's got a bit of a cold. So I think Harvey and Lena might have had a bit of a cold before we even arrived, but then yeah, we've all got colds now. Um, and yeah, we got a little bit of a cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh look, Harvey's got a an aeroplane tattoo slash makeup. <laughs> that looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't you look cool? And we're kicking off with the Saudi Hawks, which will be pretty cool. They were really good yesterday, but very, very similar to the Red Arrows, which was quite strange. But um, it's like watching the Red Arrows in green. Yeah. Are you gonna watch some aeroplanes? Yeah. Yeah. Head under water, falling back into you. I thought we'd be smart. Got nothing left to lose. Said you're for me. No matter how far it goes, that's the thing. Oh, they did one then. Oh, that's cool. So the B-52 marks the end of REACT 2023. Um, however, we are going to be staying here one extra night because it's just easier if we go home in the morning and then we have the day to unpack rather than have to pack this, this evening we'll be exhausted. Especially being new parents and Lena did keep me up last night, which was kind of her. So um, yeah, we are going to be staying one more night at least. It is mad though how empty the field is already. It's been emptying out throughout the day, but it is funny how quickly it's emptied out and it was really full last night, that's for sure. So I guess a lot of people really do come on the Saturday night for the Sunday. So maybe the Sunday is the busiest day, but gosh, it is really thinned out here now. We've just woken up on Monday morning and uh, we got woken up by something departing. I don't know what it was, but it was very, very loud. But I'll um, quickly show you the layout of how we're sleeping. Lizzie is up at the back there. She's got Lena on one side and usually Harvey is up there as well on the other side. So we managed to get the bed made, um, as in like we got the board made and everything like that. I managed to get that all finished in time, which I'll show you what I did with that in another video. But we've got the mattress on there. Obviously there's nothing as finished um cabinetry wise or anything like that on the side what are you doing um yeah but the lights all work and everything like that that's all cool i managed to get 
the vent all set up in there for uh, when the bathroom goes in. This vent up here is all finished around the edge, which is quite nice. Uh, but yeah, as far as storage goes, we haven't got any storage. We have got the fridge down there, which is plugged into a socket at the back, a table with all the stuff we've been using. We've also got the anchor with us. Uh, just for extra power because we're fully off grid here obviously it's just a field and then there's like this storage unit that we got um this is when we we're in full when we we're in france and that's quite handy just to put a load of food and things but obviously that's where the shower will go eventually and then i'm sleeping on the rock and roll bed with my duvalet which is actually quite good it, it does need a duvalet it's very very firm otherwise but yeah that's my bed Obviously the seats are swiveled round, but it's a complete mess in here. We've got our little portaloo for night time. The funny thing is, what's mad is it's been very, very showery, very cloudy. Friday was absolutely crazy weather, but we've woken up Monday morning when the show has finished. And look at this outside. It is absolutely glorious weather. Such a shame it wasn't like this for the show. Ah, oh, it is stunning out there. You win some, you lose some. So as we pack away, it is actually departures day here at uh, Riyadh, but um, unfortunately, it looks like they're departing the opposite way. Well, the way that they've been doing all, all week, which is away from us. So. Not a huge amount for us to see. The helicopters have come this way, but obviously they can go pretty much whichever way they want to go. Uh, but yeah, so it'd be cool if they did switch ends and uh, take off this way whilst we're packing up, but something departed at about half seven really, really loud. So I don't know if that was the B-52 maybe, but it was very, very loud. But yeah, we're just getting packed up now. Um, a few things we have done, um, obviously we've not got the kitchen installed, so we brought the anchor along with us. Um, and we use that with just our uh, kettle from the kitchen, which is really high powered kettle. Really, we should have had a travel kettle with us. Uh, and we did most of the cooking on the Kadak, but we also had a little air fryer with us as well. So we managed to make it work. It would be a lot easier to be fully off grid if we had our proper kitchen installed with the two gas burners, because then we could just boil the kettle with the gas and things like that. But um, it's done all right. Each day the solar has topped back up sort of 25%, which is quite nice. And the good news is our kitchen is actually ready to pick up. So we can go and pick that up from Evo Motion and get that built and get that installed. So we were saying it'd be really interesting to see how different the van looks next year, because we are hoping to come again next year, um, pending whether we can get the time off work. But um, yeah it would be quite interesting to see how different it looks. It's already a completely different van to what we were in last year. So things change pretty quickly. We actually bought a scanner so we can actually listen to what's coming and going. And it sounds like, although it's departures day, it sounds like there is actually something on the approach, Hungarian Air Force. So we'll see if that comes over the top of us. So as you can see, we're just getting ready. So Harvey's sat in the front. We'll be turning the airbag off on that side, obviously. Then Lena sits here with it facing rearwards and I sit next to her. And then we've got everything else sorted. We've just got pillows on top there and everything else in the garage. So this is us ready to go. Very exciting. Well, it's not, is it? It's not exciting at all. I don't know why I said that. Because <laughs> we're going home, aren't we? Which is rubbish. <laughs> but we did see an Osprey take off, which is amazing. That was cool, but look how empty the field is now. Very empty, but we're listening to all the departures going and it sounds like chaos. It will be interesting to see if we get out okay. I believe the exit for us in that corner over there is quite muddy, but it's not that bad. Um, and I can just see all the cars are going without having to be towed today, so that's good. So it sounds like it's dried out a little bit and we should be absolutely fine to get out because we have off-road tires as well, so useful famous last words <laughs> <laughs> so that's us done for react 2023 what did you think yeah, yeah. 
we've survived. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think the most amazing part is the fact that we survived with an eight week old and a two year old. And that was almost going to be impossible with loud planes yeah. going over. No one's deaf. No, we're, I don't nearly, think so. we're nearly deaf thanks to the um, B 52 going straight over the top of us yesterday. Yeah. And I was filming, so I didn't, and I covered Lena's ears, but not my own. So definitely deaf. De definitely had a bit of a festival vibe about it because of how muddy it's been and stuff. <laughs> but everyone has been so happy and so friendly here. It's been amazing. The atmosphere yeah. has been incredible. So we will definitely be staying here again if we come back. If, if we can come back, we'll try and get the leave. If we can get the leave, then we'll definitely be back. Yeah. Um, and we've seen yeah. a few people that we saw last year as well. Hopefully we get to see the same people that we saw this year as well, because we've made a lot of good friends on the campsite. So yeah. it's been really fun. So hopefully we'll see everyone again next year. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely be back to this campsite. It's been fantastic. Let us know if you're going to come next year. It's well worth it. Townsend Farm Campsite, that's the place to Maybe be. Maybe we should have a little camp out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> and then you people. can look after the kids for us. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it and hit subscribe because it really helps us out. Yeah, we try and bring you lots of content like this, but also our van build plus other van tours plus our travels and adventures. So do All subscribe sorts. if you can. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.